Simon from simonwood.com. Uh, what have I got today? I've got a sparkling wine all the way from uh, the Veneto in uh, uh, in northeast Italy. Uh, no, it's not Prosecco. It's made from the Prosecco grape, uh, Glera, uh, and it's uh, from made in exactly the same way as Prosecco, what they call the Charmat method. But I think the vineyards are just outside. Uh, the Prosecco region, uh, the denominated Prosecco region. Anyway, what is it? It's uh, Rivolto uh, from the Zanotto winery. It just says Vino Bianco Spumante, extra dry. Extra dry, sounds like it should be a dry category. Uh, it's not, there are, there are quite a few categories that are dry. So the driest of sparkling wine, I think it's called Brut Nature, uh, and then uh, Extra Brut, uh, and then Brut, and then Extra Dry, and then Dry. It, no, it doesn't make sense to me either. Uh, for technical people, 12 to 17 grams per litre of sugar. 12 is about the, the standard that you'll get in uh, uh, some champagnes. You, I, think, I think in the most uh, regular champagnes, that's between 8 and 12. Uh, but uh, so it's, um, am I expecting something on the slightly sweet side? Let's have a see. Well, it doesn't smell like it's going to be one of those, um, I, I call them apple spume bombs. There are some uh, Proseccos which are almost a, a little bit too uh, too frothy and uh, sweet baked apple uh, cooked and uh, ju just, um, yeah, nice friendly wines. But uh, this, I, if you'd asked me, uh, th this smells like as if it's going to be on the dry side. There's this uh, slight burnt sugar uh, aroma, dry burnt sugar. Do you know what I mean by that? I know what I mean by that. There's almost as if something's caramelised. There is a little bit of um, uh, a green apple in there, but um, it smells like it's going to be fresh and rather tasty. Well, it doesn't taste all that sweet to me. I'm, I'm, um, what I'm left, what I, the flavour it leaves in your mouth is quite dry and satisfying. There is this um, caramelised edge, but again, dry caramelised edge. Um, fruit flavours. It is on that green apple peel, but it's not the cooked apple. It's not. It doesn't feel too soft. Um, Alcohol-wise, eleven percent. It feels fresh, bouncy, vibrant, and really refreshing. Not the most complex of wine, but really. I've heard that people use the word smashable. There's the sort of thing that you could uh, sit there and think, "Oh, I'll have a glass of that," or "Oh, I've just finished the previous glass," or oh, "I'll have another glass of that," and rather too quickly, the uh, you'd see the end of the bottle. Uh, I'm going to uh, uh, see if uh, my wife and I can get to the bottom of the bottle uh, with this uh, because um, I really rather like it. See you soon.